we're going to be adding a new feature to the Android image viewer application which is going to be pinch zoom and for this episode of the pinch zoom series we're going to be adding the uh, on long click such as I have an application running and if you just hold your finger or thumb a toast will pop up so we're going to set up the on click listener for the current image Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, so in this tutorial we're just going to set up what we call a long click listener on our image view. So you hold on the image view and something happens. Okay, I'm also going to decrease the size of our image because the intention for this part is when you hold your finger down on the image, it expands to a full size image with the, fu uh, with the full resolution, image resolution. The reason is for that is when you pinch and zoom you don't want to lose the quality of the image, you want to still get the full size image. So we're going to go for a nicely resized image on the thumbnail to the full image when we long press long click. So first thing I need to do is to resize my current image. I'm just going to add um, additional or increase the padding for my image view. So if I go into my, oh, let's bring up the menu at the side here, and if I go into the image view here, and basically the paddings here, these paddings, the padding bottom, left, right, and top, is all set up in the strings.xml. If I press Command B on a Mac, I can just adjust those. I'm going to give them a nice, decent padding, make it 100. As such, save that. Okay, so that will decrease by putting a much larger padding on my image. It's just going to actually decrease it in the layout as such and give it a sort of view of what we saw in the introduction. Okay, now we can go back to the source code. Now go back to the source code value there. I'll just remove the menu off the left. Okay, now I'm just going to add the on-click listener. And once I press the on-click listener, I just want a toast to pop up. The following tutorial to this will be adding an additional image view with a full-size image and zooming across to that. But I just want, I just want to focus on the uh, on long-click listener for this tutorial. Okay, so we're going to add it to our image view as such. So we can call it image view again. Now we call set on long click listener okay and that will take a long click listener object so we can just create it in as an argument and it's going to be a view long click there and it's all been set up by android studio nicely so basically we created a new on click listener object which is part of the view and that's implemented the on click method there as such. Okay, so we just want to change that to return true. And above that, we can just add our toast. So, just indication that on long clicks being pressed. So, create a toast, make text, and for the context, I'm going to have to get the application context. Down here and in here I can say image view long pressed or long clicked whatever you want to put and we can just make the toast for a short length of time and we do have to show the toast as such Okay, that's that's it. Now let's try running this application. And let's record it so you can see what I'm doing. 
Okay, I went to a zoo in Sazaka recently and got some pictures of what I think is a cross between a wolf and a goat. Anyway, it's just getting its leg fixed, so I'll just click on one of those pictures. There we have the wolf goat. I forget what the name what I called it. Okay, that's beside the point. You want to see what happens when I click it. And this is what I was doing when I was developing and just pressing click. I didn't realize it's long click. So hold your finger down. And as you can see, image long view pressed as such. And so that's the main part. If you're in a gallery and you're scrolling for a gallery, normally you would do something different like holding your finger on that image. It's like a long press and something happens. Um, the following tutor tutorial to this one, we will be expanding into a full size image that will then allow us to pinch and zoom at the full resolution of that image. Okay, that's it to the long click implementation for the image view. As you can see, it's quite straightforward to attach a long click listener to an image view or any kind of view if you want. And so it's very straightforward. Okay, if you want to get notified of the next update to this tutorial or any other tutorial series that I'll be creating, Click on that subscribe button. And as you can see, surrounding me is all my social media accounts. Um, I do keep the status of my tutorials updated on these accounts. So if you're fans of any of these social media accounts, you can just click on them now if you're using a PC. And don't forget, directly above me is my website. So as well as the tutorial, video tutorial, you'll also be able to get the details of GitHub when I push the code up to GitHub and also give brief explanations of the code changes up there as well. So it's a really good source of information if you want to view the web page along with the tutorial just to reinforce what we're learning here. That's all for this one. Bye for now.